Next question is from Mason Burnt. What are the pros and cons of mass gainer protein? Oh, oh mass you're the stinky gainer. guy in the room now. Yeah, you, dude. You know, it's they're not as Worst popular. Farts, dude. They're they're not oh, as dude. popular as they used to be. That's why, don't you think? Oh, bro, I, they <laughs> you would light up the room if you had a lot of these uh, in so your. So these are the ones that come in these huge canisters, like this big, and yeah. like you take what nine hundred calories, nine hundred at least at, this, at a time. This was a huge market in the nineties. Not so much now, but in the nineties, this was one of the big. Uh, money makers and you know they like uh, I think Twin Lab Gainers Fuel was one of the ones that was starting to be popular. Is it Cyto Gainer or yeah, something like that. Cyto Gainer Heavyweight Gainer nine hundred that one still exists. And Mega Mass came out and what they would do is they, the number kept going up. I remember it was like the Mass Gainer Wars. So it'd be like five hundred calories a shake and then they're like nine hundred calories a shake. It got to the point where there were shakes that were four thousand calories. How did they make that happen? They well, they pack them full of, of carbohydrates. Or you get like a, a bucket for a fucking scooper. And that was the other thing. I remember the first time I bought Mass Gainer 4000. It, was a, it literally looked like a paint bucket. And I, I'm like, oh my God, they fit 4,000 calories in a serving. And then I opened the lid and there was a scoop in there. I'm not exaggerating. It was that big. And you put, it was like it was like six servings in this huge bucket. It's like and a I'd, sand shovel. Dude, I'd put it in the blender, turn it on, and it was like my mom's like old school high powered blender was almost going to break. It was like, whoa. And no wonder. And then you have to add whole milk to the whole thing. So, all right, pros and cons. Pros, convenient, cheap way to get lots of calories. Cons, it's, it's not the best. Gut. Yeah, it's, it's not the best <laughs> calories. It's a lot of maltodextrin and cheap protein typically. Um, and food is better. Um, other pro, it's sometimes easier to drink calories when you're trying to force feed, I guess, yourself. If you're a hard gainer, I could see the value here. I think, though, you're probably better off buying a high-quality protein shake mm -hmm. and then adding stuff I to want it. Adding yeah. food, oats, fruit and berries, yeah. peanut, butter, peanut butter, eggs. Like So my major con with these, because I went on a kick for a while with this stuff is- uh, When would you drink it, by the way? Before bed or- I mean, I everything. I've set the alarm in the middle of the night. I drink before workouts, <laughs> yeah. after workouts, start my day, First eat a meal, morning. then do it. I mean, you you name it. I have tried eating a mass gainer at different times of the day for whatever reasons, right? Or trying to maximize the absorption of it right right after your workout. The thing that I, I noticed when I was doing it consistently is I've never been able to compare what, how my body responds when I get most, if not all of my calories from from real food. And totally. being a hard gainer, when I would start calculating the shake up and I'm like, oh, well, 1,100 of my calories are coming from this, then I only got to go get 2,000 more calories in whole foods. I just never felt like I got the same results as if I ate 35 or 4,000 calories of whole foods. And so Agreed. I here. got away from doing the mass gainers completely. I even said, I don't want to take a shake unless I have to, unless I'm missing my protein and it's late. And so now like when I do shakes, it's always in the evening time. And it's only because I wasn't able to get enough protein intake from my, my whole food. Same and here. then when I do it, if it, I'm on a gain, I use oats, I use fruit, I use peanut butter, I use eggs, and I add it to that and make my own gainer shake. And I just feel like getting those whole foods blended up with this, you know, three, 400 calorie regular protein shake gave me more benefits than these, you know, dextrose loaded full of fiber, 900 calorie plus shakes that just literally made me shit. 30 yeah. minutes later. Oh, yeah, dude. Just, your stomach's just talking the entire day. Mm -hmm. I remember that, like, with these shakes. It just would not resonate. Uh, and, and it was very loud. Like, you, you could hear me, like, in class. <laughs> and just be, raw. Dude, and I have to run to the bathroom. This is when, this is that story I told you guys a long time ago when I was uh, 15 and I'm in the pool and I'm like, oh, the, ga the, the heavyweight gainer 900 hit me all of a sudden. And I ran out of the pool and get in the bathroom, and because my drawstring was wet, I couldn't undo it and basically shit myself. <laughs> that's a true story. Yeah. And that's when I kind of swore off. I'm like, this is not, this, why, it's not yeah. going to make me gain mass. Risk versus reward. Yeah. yeah, this is not really working. Here's something. If you're a young kid, you're looking for the convenience, you're looking to save money, and it's hard for you to eat all the calories that you need to get your, in order to, to gain mass or whatever, just do this. Get a high-quality protein shake. You can buy whey protein now, very inexpensive. If you can't, you know... You can, Organifi makes good protein. We work with them. Take that, add whole milk, okay? And you want to add more calories, throw some peanut butter. Tastes great. 
and you've got extra protein, a little bit of carbs and from the dry and it's oats. high calorie. Dry oats. Dry oats that if you a, want to add even more carbs. I used to l- throw a half a cup to a cup of dry oats, blend it up in there. and It, it actually tastes good. Yeah. No, I loved it. 